I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it, our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Yeah. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. 
The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro. Nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but... People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. I'm here just in time. Donna, I told you a hundred times already. You must come back to play. Oh, sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw you. I left the order. People, and right? now nobody gets to decide for me. Yeah, me neither. Ask for Artyom. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Artyom this. Artyom that. Well, sadly, like it's a broken job. record. Has the guys not made it? Really no job. Job. Like you will be a widow now. Stop it! Well, not everyone no. can stand with you. you stop stop it. There's a comfortable flat waiting for that? you to eat. It's what's got us alive. What do you mean, we can't be alive? Not even you think that's going to last. How many kids exactly are playing on stage? And it's time you stop know. thinking only about, about your yourself. Ten years. You know ten how years. short we are. You're lucky if we make it halfway there. With you know antibiotics. You know suture. Which is why we cut off the bomb of the best fighters taking unnecessary risks. What will you do if all the Spartans come down the radiation? Dad, I won't come back without Artyom. And he's trust us. This is madness. That's exactly yes, why they go I there. Yes, I know it is. Know we can solve Spending so much time on the surface is suicide. The storm is rolling out. There's fewer of us. Yes, and more of the I don't want to lose my husband's radiation. I hate him for killing himself out there like that every day. Sooner or later, they will crush us. But what if you consider sure even for one second that Artyom was right? What if you can't hear that signal? Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! You're all right! You Ooh, gave us a scare, brother! Artyom! How are you, friend? I Pardon see you're me, all right. gentlemen, give way! This calls for a celebration! Artyom! A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman! Speaking of which... Alyosha, you are the nurse's in the hospital, huh? You just stop crowding him! Brother. Welcome back, Artyom! Ah, uh, Privyat, uh, Artyom! All right, you're all dismissed! I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's a fish. Yeah. I knew it. Guys are like so I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. on, Artyom. Ah, uh, yes. And there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, 
father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here but the monsters. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. So, the pack is here. So, do we turn this place into the weapon? Or do we let them pass? Wait it out. It looks like that was all. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. <coughs> oh, is this why the zone is on limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. We take the bridge to cross the railroad. It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Artyom, help me get up there. Things, right? A train! 
A damn train on the surface! Where? Shit, what do we do, Artyom? Should we catch up with it? Look! It's our guys from the Order! Looks like they're chasing that train too! Let's join them! Hey, come on! Get inside! How did you guys get here? Did you see that thing out there? We sure did! Come on, get in! Picked up two more individuals at the railroad bridge. One of them is the Order Commander's daughter. You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank already. God. Because These people, they're there. Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one Look, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by these here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole Metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. Attention! The turntable is switching off.
They notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the night. Let's do this. What the hell is happening? It's the fucking breaker again. Looks like they didn't finish the repairs at the generator, Sergeant. Senya, go tell me what. Move crouch. It's quieter that way. Oh, Stay close to the wall. Quite civil again, Yermak. So you can use your head after all. <laughs> your mark, is that you? What are you mumbling? You yes, come sir. here and help me fix this. Get me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. Simon Mikhailovich, there's a failure of two generators. You should see it. What? Yeah, I don't really need you to tell me what I should do. I better fix this line here. Wait. You'll have to take him down. On, Can you do it quietly? What's with that mumbling? Don't move. 
Am I glad to see you here? Are you alright? I'm fine, thank you. Alright. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there Come and on, switch Jim. the turntable mechanism on. Get them! Get him! 
At the creek! Over there! We're running out of time. Oh look! Oh go! Oh, the hangar! legislation dictates they be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? 
Make people are in no way related to It's not my this call until now. Misunderstanding. Well, I'll challenge. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course. Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. There's no one behind. If not, then who? who? All right, Spartans. Throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come to me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! Come <laughs> on! 
now we are not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation to avoid new nuclear attacks against us. Command chose the only viable course of action, to play dead. To ensure radio silence, the SHIELD system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If our team finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people from Moscow. Like Artyom always wanted. Giving them all to the enemy? A grand idea. I say, we sold... Wait a moment, what was that? Everyone who can hear me, everyone still loyal to the cuts. Proceed to the rally point. Listen, everyone! The location is code 1811 79 Area 18-5. I repeat. Where was that point number location supposed to be? Got it! So, it is somewhere around here. The Yamantau Mountain. So, the loop from here should go... Like this. This is our goal! 
So, is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change, everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. Oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Just a moment. I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> 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 it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? Huh? It's about time! Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell! <laughs> Even better! Oh, come How on! How about Aurora? The Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better! <laughs> Not bad, I like it! Ah, beautiful name! Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's trick you! Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Full steam ahead. Wow, that that's shed. some distance. I wonder how long it will take. Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a cupid, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because I know you. Just so you know, scars attract the ladies. And there's definitely a lot of those up ahead. I don't need a lot, really. It's quality that matters. Ivanovich, how long have you been working with those jammer people for? About a year, I guess. At first, they got me to sign up by seeing of my experience helping people. Told me about weather stations and mutant migration observers. I was proud to be helping those. Then, about two months ago, they loaded a bunch of people onto my Aurora. The guards took them outside and came back alone. Told me they took the people to a nearby station, but I knew it had came in years ago. A few days later, I was coming back from Iran, stopped the train, went and found those people. Soon they understood I saw that ravine. Fed me the usual lies about the spies and whatnot. Did you believe them? Well, it sure seems safer to believe. But then, I just couldn't keep the charade up. Then the security officer told me straight. Whoever you speak to, dies. The whole station dies with him if need be. So, that's how it went. But when I saw you, and then Artyom, I knew I wasn't alone anymore. You can't just keep these things in. Now I understand why you helped us back then. Thank you. Don't mention it. God willing, it won't end up being done in vain. Yes. Have you ever taken a train beyond city borders? No. Didn't get a chance to go. I used to be a metro train engineer. I worked on the ring line. <laughs> what a bore that was. Going round and round all day, round and round. And no real distance either. It used to take less than 30 minutes to make the left. 
so I kept dreaming about how good it would be to just leave the metro and work on a real railroad. And travel around Russia. Not to run in circles like a, like a rat in a maze. Huh? My wife wouldn't let me. We had kids, too. When I'd start going on about the railroad, uh, about my dream, <laughs> she'd stop sleeping with me for months in protest. <laughs> uh, yes. When Moscow got hit by Tatiana and the little Sashenka were at home. I was working that day. Irishka was waiting for me in the metro, returning from cram school. So we survived together that day. But in the end, I lost her to TP. Ah, you know how it goes. So I'm driving here and talking to that Yara in my head. See, I say, you couldn't stop me for good after all. Here I am, on a real railroad, a real engineer. I'm sorry I got so emotional there. Oh, it's my fault. I'm really sorry. And thank you for telling me. Yum. Is there any music on the air? for because of you. We all remember the way you fought back in D6, so no matter what lies ahead, we're with you. You can count on us. Yeah, yes. As for me, I'm running a little inventory check. Yeah, it is kind of cramped in here. I'm thinking of making something of a workbench. So that's all the instruments we get, and everything else would be within arm's reach. With no workbench, you just lose small components. We'll use this place to work on the weapons, cleaning, boiling, keep out of everybody's way, and keep them from messing with my stuff. And well, we'll have to take turns, of course, but we'll manage. So, if you find any weapons you'd like to keep, I'll store them for you here on the Aurora, and you can come back to exchange them. You'll get them back in their best shape ever, don't you doubt. <sighs> Boy, have I cleaned and oiled a lot of weapons in my life. Hmm, factory, and homemade too. Some of those were just amazing, so unusual. So, if you have any weapon-related questions, I'm your man. And weapons, they are like girls. They need attention. You clean your weapon well, you oil it, you check the ammo. Because these dirty ammo caps do get rusty sometimes. But if you put your heart into it, the weapon never fails. Ah, well. I'll just finish oiling this one, then start on another. Well, hello there, Atom. The people could have called me up there to drink to Aurora. I still think Belzebub was a better name. <laughs> By the way, did you come to trade places with me? Or did you just want some exercise? I heard that. Monotonous labor calms you. Well, it's no lie. I don't 
do feel this calm, you see? Idiot says it's dynamic meditation. That philosopher doesn't come here to meditate often. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they? while we were eating each other alive in the metro. We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? Anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Shots fired! Four bogeys on a trolley! Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with our team too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. Gotta check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on yes, it, sir. Duke, I need you to recon the immediate area. Got that, sir. Idiot, you give him cover from the Aurora. Yes, sir. Sam and Alyosha, stay in reserve. Yes, yes sir. sir. Don't forget your notepad, Artyom. Wait, am I not trustworthy anymore? I'd tell you if it was the case, Sam. Now, cut the chatter. Let's go, RT. 
Артем! Артем, не забудь свой бэкпэк. Это новый модуль. Портабл воркшоп, так сказать. Мануэль в ней. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Going down. What was that? Could you check it out? Look around while you're inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Traveler. Our father, Salantius, has already started. 
started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your weapons shielded and welcome. here either. Silantius oh, locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen Our in this place all the that year. Arriving under the cover of fog. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals, but unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, she's alright. Get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. Go! Nothing I can get to your train. Mommy, mommy, hush, hush. I mean by boat during the sermon. And then what? Well, he, he was just there and then... <laughs> And you thought Father Salantius said the man was sent by the devil? Artyom, I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. Huh?
all right? Great. I was starting to worry. You raised some hell in there. Oh, well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. huge the old man sent me out as a forward sentry told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action so I just had a front row seat watching you there and so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult how about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble though. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into chomping all those water bugs. How did Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder? Speaking of Mowgli, we have the same blood type, you and I. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> well, I guess you have to go now, Artyom. I feel your father-in-law training his binoculars on us to turn us into pillars of salt. <laughs>
Here's Artyom, back from the abyss of NATO You're occupation. <laughs> Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead-eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Artyom, stop by my desk Thank once you. you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. So, Katya, where are you uh, from? The Southern Ural. A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. Who could have known that fanatics were in control now? And they say this place used to be great. Did you come with your husband? There were 15 of us. But now only Nastya and I are alive. I... I'm sorry. Hey, why are you so gloomy? Don't you like the tea? I do. Oh, when the gargoyle attacked, Nastya lost her teddy. The beast carried it away. Oh, must have thought it was alive. Oh, don't you worry. We'll find your teddy. Oh. We call them demons in Moscow, and you call them gargoyles. Yes, where did those things crawl out from, I wonder? Well, there's radiation, chemical weapons and stuff. Nature just went strange. Yeah, the planet's been trashed. No wonder Silantius had such a hold over everyone here, with people seeing things like that every day. Poor fools. They live in darkness and die just like that, reading with disease. I'm a trained nurse, but Silantius wouldn't even hear of me treating anyone. He said God claims his own. He only cares about feeding their bodies to that fish once they die. He says it's their sure way into heaven. I tried doing something to help them, but no, it's a sin. And then he just locked us up in the tower. And somehow a stupid flashlight made it worse. Uncle Crest gave me the flashlight, but Silentius got mad and smashed it. He did, and then he cursed Crest, so the man had to hide in the port. It's a basement lair, so Silentius can't get him there. He also wanted to make Mommy marry him, but she didn't want to. He's old and nasty. Ah. Yes, the gospel of the damn fish says nothing about marriage. I was lucky to protect my daughter. That crazy creep, he's just so... Will you take us away from here, please? Of course we will. Don't you worry. Hi, Artyom. Found the occupying forces yet? Grab them by their tails when you do. <laughs> Actually, I don't so Katya being a nurse is just perfect. It will make convincing Dad to take them along so much easier. I'm going to talk to him about that later. Besides, he doesn't really want to leave them here himself. I can see that. But he's so hung up on those occupying forces, he can't even think of anything else. All right, you should go talk to him now. He did seem to want something. Hi, Artyom. 
Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. <laughs> in the meantime, we have dug in here. We've been waiting for the occupying forces. But so far, we have only seen winged and four-legged ones. <laughs> Our ecology seems to sit badly with them. <laughs> Some bandit-looking characters in the distance, too. Come over here, please. Lady Anna brought in. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yaramak can't handle the repairs alone. So, once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you, here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up, otherwise you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. Artyom, uh, I took some measurements. There is one hell of a radioactive hotspot between this place and the port. The regions are off the scale. So you better take a boat. We found one and docked it under the bridge. Well, unless you're afraid of the monster. Duke told us over the radio. Artyom? Afraid? Bullshit! Besides, the monster is just a catfish. After the nuking, the fallout got washed off into the rivers and settled down as sediment. Catfish are bottom dwellers, so they got hit worse. But this one wasn't so bad, by the way. I was careful and never got attacked. I, I don't think it will attack if you keep quiet. It's no alligator, after all. By the way, did you see any of those? Uh, back in the States, I mean. It's not like they were all over the place there, like bears in Russia. You know? Though, I've been to Florida once and visited an alligator farm there. I haven't seen one since I joined the Marines, though. Middle East, Moscow, the Embassy, you know. I heard Miller saved you from a lynching. When shit hit the fan? Yep. I'd rather not talk about it, though.
The villagers I never have a chance against them. You? You just cut through them, bleh. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Krist, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me? Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right. That huge hangar. That's the terminal, Bli. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. There... <laughs> Tsarfish live there, you know? Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now.
Here is my key. And this is where I live. Not a palace, one. Oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo, grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like. It. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Oh, anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. Managed to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chase me away. Please. Now, you could take the zipline down. Just hook up and uh, away you go. Dumb cretins didn't like my light. You know, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since. But I guess you shouldn't start a fight with them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they were probably just scared shitless by your arrival. I'll bet they thought Judgment Day had come and right on time, too. <laughs> You have nothing to fear from them. Yeah. The beasts? Well, that's another story, though. Take these ugly mutant bastards from earlier, for example. One of them? It's nothing. But you come across a pack of them? Oh, yeah. Just run. I once had to drop all my shit to just get away, and I consider myself lucky. Ooh, the motherfuckers are smart. Throwing rocks. Those things hurt like hell. Humans are always worse. Some bandits came here recently? I have no idea what they want. They didn't approach the bridge or the village even once. They just sit there, blech, waiting for something. But I know they're bad news, you know? Villagers say people started going missing when the bandits come. Now you go fishing or something, then you just don't come back. Well, I could go on for ages like this, but your leader wanted something done. Just go on ahead, I'll gather some stuff here. I'll see you at the train! Artyom, 
I heard you call me. <coughs> it was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you. <coughs> Tell the others that we found her, Sam. It's good I killed found me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay, all right. So, uh, Artur, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. <clears throat> Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. Oh, Anna. One day I will have a heart attack because of you. You are getting detention once you are back, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, is that you? Thanks for helping find Anna. Now I want you to drag her <coughs> butt here with a <coughs> prejudice. Time to talk some sense into that brat. <laughs> Stefan's asking for some tools. Trying to get the civilians on board. Everyone's gone nuts here. Head back. Help Stepan persuade my father about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us. Um, I am feeling better now. Really, I am. So, Sam, tell me what the real enemy bases look like so that we know when, when we see it. Well, first of all, there are these huge humanoid robots, all plastered with stars and stripes, with nuclear reactors up their asses. Oh, and the food's great. Burgers, fries, shakes. I'm being serious. What the hell? Okay, well, let me be serious, too. How the hell am I supposed to know how they look now? I haven't seen one in, what, 20 years or so? A fence, some guard towers, patrols, buildings. Bases look like bases. Nothing like that around here. We have yet to see anything even remotely resembling one. But if we do, I'll be sure to go say hi. If I can still remember how to speak English. Uh, all right, D don't be mad. Do you guys really believe you're gonna see any Americans here? I was hesitant at first, but... Now I think I'm the only American we're ever gonna see out here. <laughs> well, that's fine by me, since we can always talk things out with you, Sam.
Artyom, help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come with us, even though Katya told us where to find a passenger car in great condition. I... Uh, we... We have to go back now, I guess. Where... Where would you go? Those fanatics would eat you alive. Well... Maybe they... I don't know. I mean, sure, it's not just about the space. We might have to fight our way through the bridge, and even after we do, we don't know what dangers lie ahead. But still! And I told him I could help. I'm a medic. I also told him about the bridge, that it could be lowered. Yes, I even told him about the carriage in the train depot. We came all the way here in it. It's very good. We prepared it for the long trip. Uncle Artyom, please, let us come. I will be good. I will help with everything. I will. Oh, Nastya, quit bugging Uncle Artyom. Oh, don't you worry, Nastya. Uncle Artyom will talk to our commander and sort it all out. Whoa, Uncle Artyom is more important than that scary commander with metal legs. <laughs> oh, darling, you can't say that. Well, Uncle Miller is the chief here, but he does listen to what Artyom thinks, doesn't he, Uncle Artyom? Uh, I was going to go and get that carriage myself, but no dice. Leaving a post, enemy court-martial, you know the drill. So now, it's up to you and Anna to persuade him. Will you take us away from here, please? Of course we will. Don't you worry. Hi, Artyom. All right, welcome to the crew. Thank you. Won't let you down. Artyom, come up here. Artyom, I have something See to talk to you about. Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So. Disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traders' boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sivan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll and move into the stock. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you'll get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in a terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go! It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time! Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage, we take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom, if the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Antio. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich. No two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff we hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. 
It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's dark. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out, and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom, Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench, with storage space for all my tools, and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whatever you want. Always in their best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> You won't have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. I have something for your Tihar. You can try installing it. Use the workbench. Well, I won't keep you here any longer. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silentius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Of course, God bless you, Artyom. And you, Stepan, thank you. Oh, it's... I... don't even mention it. Uncle Artyom! Uncle Artyom! Are you going on a mission? I just wanted to ask, there, where the big tanks are, if you find my teddy bear, just in case you do, could you bring him home? A demon took him, a flying one. It was scary. They live there. It took Teddy to his children. <sighs> I miss Teddy so much. I wanted to go visit him, but Mom won't let me. Because they're electric demons, too. I'm telling the truth. They come out at night and they light up. So pretty. And scary, too. A bit. How are you, Horosho? <laughs> Artyom. I haven't really thanked you properly for saving me from that stupid cellar yet. You know, I didn't even get scared when I fell. Because I knew you'd come and save me no matter what. Thank you, my love. Now, go. Come back soon, and stay away from the hotspots. Artyom, uh, are you going to the terminal? You might meet Duke there. He's got an observation post set up in a carriage near the bridge. Ask him for a sit trap before going in. One more thing. That tower to the right, see it? There's someone over there. I think it's the bandits. They're watching us. Uh, we heard someone playing guitar over there. Those guys can't play for shit. Stepan wanted to take the instrument from them. They were butchering the melody so badly. So, won't you liberate that guitar? Make an old friend happy. Stepan is a wizard with a six-string. He plays some mean classic rock. Good luck, Artyom.
a bitch! <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Ah, these devils called me on my way to the house of the fish. I had a penance from my father, Celandius, and so I got about halfway, and then this got me. Uh, oh, I, I see you're one of the heretics. But I tell you anyway, there is a cashier on this island. There is a device. But we can use it. It's a sin. But you could. I'll just have some rest here before I go back. I'll keep praying for you to the starfish for the rest of my life. It might save your soul.
brother didn't see me huh the others don't either i'm basically part of the scenery now i heard you were headed to the terminal for the rail car then let me fill you in the terminal can only be entered by water luckily there is a dock with a boat nearby left there by the fanatics it seems inside there are just those uh, um human animal mutants or, or so it seems See that gas station? It's a bandit hideout. They ambush the fanatics. These guys seem to be drawn to the terminal like flies to you know what. The bandit caught three of them on my watch. Look at the building over there. Bandits keep captives there for ransom or something. But they sure go to town on the poor guys. I asked the colonel for permission to go in three times. But no dice. I understand why. But we have always protected common folk from low lives like these. So I'm having a hard time staying put. Oh well. See those ruins? There's a bandit camp there too. They have a sniper. I saw at least one scope flashing from the roof. So I wouldn't advise an open attack. The bridge is in full lockdown. None of the armed dudes ever show themselves. They definitely expect us to attack, so there is no reason to be concerned about them now. Hey, it's your choice when to move out, but the bandits should be easier to avoid in the dark. In any case, I'm going back to my post.
stopping in the end. Huh? Hey, what's that front? What are we supposed to do here? Wait for the what? caravan? You see where this is going? Yeah, what? yeah. with the cut off. That's it. I see. Why didn't we shoot yeah. the last spot then? Uh, seems like I was seeing stuff. Once uh, again, uh, 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 ah! Well, the caravan has a tougher. Why would they need to roll? <laughs> we need some more. What's that like about this place? It's just great. Small trip. Wow. And what is the big plan? <sighs> Claiming the bridge. We kill the bridgeheads, and with such a fort in the ship, we get to roll the river. We will be sneaking rich. All the gang leaders will line up to serve us. You catch the bridge. <laughs> Damn, that's what I call a plan. No one knows what's up. Hey, bro. What the fuck is that? Get out of here. Were they looking for us? Why the fuck do I get to stick around? You win. They were going to fight the fireballs. Nah, you're shooting it now. It's the real deal, man. They're all fucking mad about it. All think of electricity is safe. I've been here for you all night, so I hurt you. <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up. How are they going to do that? <laughs> hey, man, what the fuck's there? when the heathens ambushed us. Please, don't leave us here. Though you are a heretic, we will pray for the salvation of your soul for as long as we live. God bless you. Prayer is great, but I'd like to thank you with something more substantial. Listen close. There's a room in the terminal. We bring all the sinful things there for the fish to purify them. Here, take this key. You're a sinner anyway, and there might be something of use for you there. Come on, take it. Simon, you mustn't. Celantius will excommunicate you for that. He won't if you don't tell him. Or perhaps you'd rather die here, by a heathen's blade. No, of course not. I'll tell you. Fucking nuts. This will be done.
Who goes there? Look, a heretic. Che, as if we didn't have enough trouble already. I see you are a reasonable man, traveler. You don't point your gun at us, and you seem to respect our faith. Still, we don't have time to talk to you. We are paladins, warriors of true faith, and we are on a quest. We have to triumph over the demons of electricity with faith alone. And that's why we're setting the holy symbols around us. We also have to say our prayers, for any mistake could cost us lives. <laughs> Look, he's trying to scare us with his weapon. We are paladins. We are paladins, warriors of true faith. It's for an outsider to be here, and you could spell our doom with your lack of belief. But we have a lot to do. After all, it is the will of the Lord that this heretic should come to make our quest even harder. Otherwise, how would we prove that our faith is true? For the blessings that you, O oh Lord, bestow upon us, we, your unworthy slaves, sing your praise. And for your tolerance of our sins, and for salvation from the fire brought forth by the unholy electricity, and for protection from the temptation of devil worship via your true faith, Bestowed upon us by Father Salentis, we thank you, O Lord. Amen. Yeah, don't shoot! Don't shoot! Please! 
I don't know anything. He was just a game, like any other. But one of them assholes just had to cheat, and he did pull first. And before I could even say anything, they all opened up. And they all went crazy. I could do nothing. Nothing, I'm telling you. I'm no liar. Bobber will vouch for me. And just don't shoot. Oh. 